Men feeling society is cold to them. I feel for men who are treated coldly by society or assumed to be a predator. I feel for men who complain that they can't initiate interactions without being seen as a creep. I feel for men who want to smile at babies in public just because they like kids. So few of these same men, when I talk to them, realize that men would be treated so much better by society and women. If society actually responded appropriately when a man harasses or assaults a woman. I don't know if you are good or bad. I don't know if you will hurt me. I don't want to be cold to you. I would love to hug you. I would love to welcome you. But I do know that if you then hurt me, harass me, stalk me, rape me, as happens to so many women including me, society will not have my back. The police will not protect me. You can destroy my life. And my society will let you. As long as society does not protect women, women will be cold to men in public. To protect themselves, we do not have another option. Even when we want to be open and friendly. The solution for you is the same solution for me. Last night a guy the first barely no entered my garden without permission to try break into my upstairs. Neighbors because they didn't respond to text quick enough. That's the second time in a month I had some dude just get onto my property. I'm a woman who lives alone. They are surprised I get very alarmed and upset. Dude you just caused a domestic disturbance and break in. It's not my problem you don't think I asked you to leave nicely enough. A lot of this would be fixed if the word no was actually listened to and respected. Amen. This is the best take. It's why feminism is important for everyone. We need to fix these issues at a societal level. Men cause most of men's problems the societal pressure they put on other men is gross and they will jump through hoops of all kinds to defend this shitty status quo. This is not the same example, but similar. I always thought it was so funny how boys men tend to make fun of boy bands or male pop stars. Like dudes. These are the things the girls you want to date like instead of mocking them. Literally just copy them lol. The solution for you is the same solution for me. Society is cold because they run it. Men should complain to men about the world they built for themselves if they're uncomfortable in it. Being cold is the only way to feel safe. Whenever I'm out it's almost never alone anymore. Whenever I have to shop or anything I try to stay as neutral as possible with maybe a Mona Lisa-esque smile. I don't respond to anyone except with a slight nod or head shake and if I have to interact I try to have my eyes be as lifeless as possible as if I'm staring straight through them. It may all sound unpleasant but it really makes E feel safer as strangers seem to move on faster instead of bothering me as much. I think men who post about this over imagine how many women get support from random strangers. Men need more ways acceptance to build known support systems. Not hugs from women in the street. Sweet little boys lose so much of the love and support they receive from women as children. In the midst of growing up and turning into our greatest threat. We're not wrong to be afraid of them. And they aren't wrong to feel grief and loss. Life is not fair. Women's rights are human rights. They hardly make an effort to warm society to themselves do they? I'm not sure that I personally agree with you. The truth is we have to be wary. Always aware of our surroundings. Always on alert. Why? Because time and time and time again, men abuse the trust they're given. They've built this world as much as women have. Shaped it to conform to them. 
It speaks volumes that women are can be cold towards men and on alert. You reap what you sow. I'm a man and I don't take any of some strangers' comments personal. I think one of the biggest issues is that people are taking onto themselves negative comments and applying it to themselves. If the shoe fits, wear it I suppose but if not, no need to whine about bad things are for you when it's not really even about you. Thank you for putting this so well. It's something I've been trying to articulate ever since a guy tried to ask me out on the street a few months ago. I felt so conflicted because I had to treat him with suspicion as a defense mechanism. Well stated. It's all a tragedy. And it's all a result of the rigid structures that society wants to impose on us. It's like they want men and women to actively hate each other and victimize each other. And the worst part is that it's working. I have witnessed many men who would never make shitty jokes stay quiet or worse. Laugh when those jokes are told around them. I don't think most men understand that the power to change much of it is in their hands. And when they refuse to do anything about it, they seem less and less like the good ones. Tired of being painted with the same brush as rapists. Then say something when your buddies joke about raping us step in when you see them taking advantage of a woman too intoxicated to consent. Good post overall op. But as for the first paragraph, I feel for men who are treated coldly by society or assumed to be a predator. I feel for men who complain that they can't initiate interactions without being seen as a creep. I feel for men who want to smile at babies in public just because they like kids. Men can do pretty much all of these things without anyone batting an eyelid so long as they're not being creepy about it. Well said. Only people on Reddit think men can't smile at babies in public. You are 100 correct. This is why I feel I can be helpful to other men who don't get it. Because they don't realize patriarchal society is what is making life worse for us as well. I basically try to tell them exactly what you said since I think it can be very convincing. That's why as a man I don't complain. All these things are true. But the amount of women I know that have had truly terrifying interactions with men tells me that. Women don't have the luxury of giving me as a man the benefit of the doubt. I just accept the coldness and hope maybe one day women don't have to be scared of men. The patriarchy hurts everyone. Men seem to fundamentally lack an understanding of the female gaze. Good guys being treated with a cold demeanor is the price paid for a society that doesn't treat women well enough. The ones complaining like this are the ones who should be on an FBI watch list. Thank you for this sensible post. I'm lucky I don't feel this way. I feel the world opens up to me and some of my favorite people are women. Progress is slow but we'll get their folded hands. Thank you for both addressing the specific cause and also having compassion. Too often only one of those two is spoken of. The isolation is natural because of the issues a group I am in has caused. But also that isolation is in itself difficult. Healing that damage is a long process. It'll take far more than my lifetime. But maybe I can help get it started. Every oppressed person would benefit from the support of their fellow oppressed peoples throughout the history of time. But alas society goes on with the oppressed trying to gain some atom of perceived power over their allies all while they are crushed by the boot of the elite who benefits from an unchanging and subordinate society.